everyone hope you're all having a super super day now welcome back to episode two of design that cage now usually in my new series design that cage i am um, i will not be showing my face but today's video is kind of special because today we are upgrading one of our pets cages i'm going to give you five seconds to guess um which pet i'm upgrading now we have guinea pigs, we have um, a hamster, and we have dogs, but they don't really have cages. So, yeah, um, I don't think you'll be able to comment down below, but just think it in your head. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> in today's video, my mum is going to be helping me upgrade um, the guinea pigs cage, um, our guinea pigs, cotton and candy. Um, she's going to be helping um, me upgrade their cage and now my sister and my dad do not know about this um, so we're going to surprise them at the end of the video so stay for that now um, last time they asked my dad to upgrade one of our pets cages he um, he said no uh, because he didn't want me to be squished um, in my room, which I wouldn't be. Um, he sent me this picture, this meme, whatever you want to call it, um, which I'm going to be showing on screen now. Um, he said that to me and said, I'm going to be like the cat. <laughs> um, so yeah, he said no. But um, in today's video, my mum is helping me do this. Now, um, I don't recommend doing things like getting a pet without telling your parents. Actually, I say don't do it at all. You have your mum on your side. Yeah, but I have my mum helping me and my mum said yes. And um, yeah, just don't go out and get pets um, without planning it and without your, your parents family. knowing. Um, because vet funds and all that, um, you kind of need your parents on your side. Um, so don't do that, but um, with this, if my dad absolutely hates it, we can take it down, but he loves the guinea pigs. So fingers crossed, he says yes. Um, now this is a very long intro, um, but I just need to cover one more thing before we get started. So, um, Basically, what we're going to be doing is um, the guinea pig's cage, which I'll show you in a moment, their current cage, um, is a CNC cage with, um, with like, wait, are they called cupboards? It has a stand with storage. It has a stand with storage, um, and it has a loft, a two by two loft, and their cage is a five by two cage, CNC cage. Um, and what we want to do um, with their cage um, is basically we want to add a ramp that goes down into like another big cage so they can run around um, and we also have ordered two things from the CNC company because the playpen it, it's basically a playpen that we're going to make um, but with so the into yeah, we want our cage to go into a playpen so they can run around. And we've also ordered two other things from the CNC company that we order. Um, I'll put the name of it down here so that if you want to get a CNC cage for your guinea pig, um, I really recommend them. This is not sponsored, by the way. They're really good um, cages. Um, the playpen that we're um, making, um, that we're using, is from Amazon, not from the CNC place, but. Let's hope it fits, I'm pretty sure it will. And we also ordered um, a another two by two loft and another, I mean not another, we don't have one of these, and a one by two loft. Um, and we're not gonna use them as lofts, we're gonna use them, we're gonna attach them on the outside of the cage. The two by, the two by one loft is going to be um, an eating slash pooing and peeing station um it's just gonna have like hay 
it's also not going to be a feeding station but it's going to be like hay and yes they eat while they poop so they have hay in their potty training area thing um, i don't really know what to call it and then the two by four is just going to be like another add-on to give them um some more space we want to do a we want to do the two by two um which is the thing going into the playpen but they won't arrive until next week we think so um i'll have another design that cage video episode three um for that um where we're gonna be adding those on surprising my dad and my sister about that as well um yeah i think that's all i want to say um by the way my sister has a youtube channel as well her youtube channel is called um alanges reborn nursery go subscribe to her if you like reborns yeah this intro is way too long so i'm just going to show you the cage now and and my mum just pointed out that the um, playpen that we're going to be using is by, um, is we bought it off Amazon, but it's by a company called Somic. 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 Songic. It's called Song Mike or Song Mick. Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, that's what it's called. If you want to go buy from them. We'll tell you if they're good or not when we've built it. Pretty sure it is. Go check them out. They had good reviews, okay? <laughs> My room is a bit of a mess right now and um, they usually have more toys in here at the moment. Um, we're just putting some more toys in there um, after they free roam because we want to put some of the stuff that they're using to free roam right now in here. They usually have some more stuff to play with. Um, so yeah it's all clean now it's all nice um so upstairs is the feeding area um at the moment and it's the toilet area um but we want to um attach the two by two loft maybe either here or here and then here is going to be around where my desk is sorry it's a huge mess <laughs> um this is going to be the where the playpen is put and then like maybe here or here is where the two by one loft is going to be hello baby um, and then, so yeah, here's their sleeping area. They have like a tube there, they have some chew toys. They have like a bunch of stuff hanging up. And um, apparently Cotton likes to chew on these things. Um, so we have them here for, their, for her to chew on because she really likes chewing on them. And yeah, it is safe because she chews on them, but she doesn't swallow them. She spits it out. So um, it's completely fine. Don't do it to your don't let your guinea pig do that um to you but like if you know that they aren't gonna swallow it then it's fine they and then under here it. they have just like they usually have some tubes to run around here and um here they have like um some other sleeping stuff some nice comfy stuff um is candy in or is she she's still out okay let's see if we can spot her there she is and we like you saying pee pads. Yeah. Where we know they're going to pee. But don't use pee pads if you know that they chew on them. Because it can be dangerous for them to chew as well. So we went to the pet shop today. Um, and um, we picked up some stuff. So we're kind of going for, in for a certain theme, a certain vibe. Um, summery vibe, even though it's, it's way over. Um, this is for... Just when we bath them, not for the new cage. It's just when we bath them. Um, and then here we got this bed. It's um, a nice bed. There are guinea pigs who do actually like um, sleeping on this kind of stuff, though some guinea pigs prefer it when they have like um, a roof on it. They like that, but um, they also like this kind of bed. And uh, we got this for them to chew on. Um, I used to have a toy like this when I was younger, so that's why we got it, because I just think it's funny, because it looks exactly like a toy I had when I was younger. So now my guinea pigs get to experience that same joy that I did with that toy. Um, and then I got this for Cookie Dough, for when I free roam him. Um, I'm not putting it in his cage, because um, it's plastic, and I don't really want him chewing on it. 
Um, so I'm going to use it when I'm supervising him. And then here we got this um, nice chew for the guinea pigs, um, some willow sticks. Um, yeah. And um, we got this um, just as like a second um, potty, like um, while we're waiting to get our two by one loft, we're just going to use it. Not permanently, just um, until we get the two by one loft. Now I do already have a, um, a what's it called? Uh, <laughs> what's it called? A, a toilet, but um, we just wanted another one too. So. Oh no, this is broken, look. Look, it's fine. We'll get it somewhere. We'll, we'll figure out where. I just need toilet to go with that, okay? So, we got these two little Christmas hats. and uh, Now, we're not going to be putting these on the guinea pigs unsupervised. We're just going to put it on real quick for a Christmas photo, but that's ages away. And like I said, we're sticking with a certain vibe. Um, eh. Okay, there we go. So, we got this nice wooden shoe. Yeah, it's like you, it's like um, you hang it up on both sides. That's cute. Um, and I know you can get a lot of like unsafe paper ones, um, like these balls. Um, they have like unsafe dye for guinea pigs, but don't worry, these ones are safe for guinea pigs, so they will be fine. So yeah, it's nice watermelony. And we've got this, which is also because it's just plain paper with just like um, natural safe dye. And then we got this. They were all from like a certain wall that had like all guinea pig toys in it, like with a certain theme, the bed too. Uh, and we, these are our, these are the guinea pigs' favorite treats. They're called niblots. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I pronounced that properly. Um, and um, this is a new flavor, tropical. So we decided to try that. Um, and we got this donut shoe, which is honestly my favorite. It feels so nice just to hold. I'm a weirdo, aren't I? So yeah, um, we also got one more thing. Don't know where it is. Ah, oh, here it is. We bought another water bottle in there in my dressing room. Um, so yeah, we bought this. And it's like a tunnel and my mum bought it because we're gonna have enough space for this huge like fluffy tunnel that we hope they're gonna love um, so yeah I'm just so excited let's do this <laughs> Now, people, if you think about doing this, um, then I just want to say we are using um, Coroplast, that's what my mom calls it, uh, mat to go on the bottom of my floor. And then we're going to be putting um, blankets on top. Now, you didn't see us put the Coroplast um, down uh, because it hasn't arrived yet. But for now, it's okay. Just in the long run, we don't want pea stains all over my floor. So we're using Coroplast mats. So, um, if you don't pee stains on the floor, use Coroplast mats. Um, in the next video, hopefully the Coroplast mats will have arrived so you can attach those then and you can see what they look like um, and what Coroplast mats are. Um, so yeah, um, and I now as you can see, um, there is like a little, um, I'll give you a tour in a minute. There is like a little um, blank spot um, the, um, near the bottom of the ramp. Um, and yeah, um, my mum's just going to get something to cover that up and I'm going to decorate um, the bits that I can for the moment. I'm super excited. It looks so cool. So, be back in a minute. <laughs> The 
the basic overview. Dun, dun, dun! Now, I don't need to see it yet until the tool comes to it. So, here is the bit we already had. So, um, the top loft is the kitchen, the eating area. We have a water bottle on every level. So, here is where we have the pellet, the food when we have it. Um, we don't give our guinea pigs food at night. Uh, we do give them dinner, but not at night when it's dark out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they have hay. They have um, pellets. Um, yeah, this is the kitchen. Water bottle on every level. The next level down is the chilling slash sleeping area. Um, also, former running and playing area, but not anymore. So, um, there we have two just sleeping areas where they can sleep or hide. Um, here we have a toilet. Um, here we have some chew toys. We're gonna keep some chew toys here. Um, and I don't know if I said before, but yeah, we have these um, for them to chew on. Now they don't swallow them, so it's safe, but if your guinea pig does swallow them, then don't give it to them. <laughs> um, and if you're not sure, then just don't give it to them at all. And then here they have another sleeping area, high cotton. Um, and then they have this tube. And then they have some more like kind of chewy things hung up on the wall and isn't it strange how these are all the same but on the bottom floor they only like the green but then on the top floor they only like the red they only eat the red um right now um it looks like they've only eaten the green but that's because um they haven't had it for long this is a new one these two are old ones and they don't like red when they're downstairs but then they um and they love the green but then they don't necessarily like the green they love the red when they're up here it's kind of strange and then here remember this is not the final result it will change in about two weeks um and then here is where we let them in and out of the play area don't look, look <laughs> don't look yet um so we're not going to let them go into the play area at night um because we just want them to have a little less space at night so they can relax and like kind of because guinea pigs um they're awake pretty much all the time they only sleep four hours a day in 10 minute naps i know it's kind of weird but that's your fun fact for the day um so yeah we, but we still kind of want them just to be more kind of chilled at night time um and then so yeah we lift we um we do have like clips but we haven't bothered to clip it yet because um we're gonna let them out in a minute this up and down day and night and here is where they can go through obviously not right now because we have that thing um and then we have this ramp um this ramp we don't really like because i don't know if you saw before but it has like it's barred Ooh, so their little footsies can like um get stuck in things so we put this over um now like i said it's not final and um, we're gonna get another ramp like that we like that ramp because it has like sandpaper so then they can not proper sandpaper um it it's not hard but um yeah it's comfortable for them to go up and down um so we don't really like this one but it's all we have for now so we just put a blanket over it to make it a little less barred then we have this little thing to chew on just like kind of i can't remember what it's called fairy lights but not it's not a light um and then here we have this box of toys. I don't know if I showed you this, but we got this today and it's for their toys. Now, usually we'll have like a bunch of toys stacked up in here. So then they can kind of just pull their toys out if they want. We thought that was a really cute idea, um, but we don't have any in there at the moment, but we will put some in. Um, and then, oh yeah, their water bottle that is there, by the way. Um, and then we have this, this like thing. Um, so this is the running area. Um, they do have some little tunnels and play things um, in the running area, but it's mostly for like binkies and just zoomies. It's round because they love doing that. And then here is their second potty. They have two. Um, and this is another tube, but um, we just thought it was cute like that. Um, this, that just so reminds me of the song Watermelon Sugar High. Look how red I am. Jeez. Side the point. <laughs> I'm just hot. You can't come in yet. It's my dad. Filming a video still. And then here we have um, this tube. And then here we have some like hay and treats, just like as a snack down here. Then we have this tube. Then we have 
this cream cube. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's the running area. And then here's the playing area where we have the toys. So we have like this sack that they try and get hay out of. So there's hay in there. And then we have this two toy. That's for running, so there's not that many toys there. But And then here there's quite a lot of toys. And then like I said, the worm. And then some willow sticks. And then that donut, which I love. And then um, that bed, which was under there. But now uh, my mum reminded me that the guinea pigs like going to the toilet like where it's kind of hidden so that bed's there now and they can go under here um like if they just want to be some quiet um it's totally safe for them to go under there but um you know they don't have to if they want to um and yeah do you like how we kind of have all the cupboards and then we have where they can go in there i really like the feature i came up with it by the way look how red i am though seriously so now it's time to show my dad. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, we are gonna put a water bottle down here. Um, one with, um, cause we have a stand for water bottles, like we have a cookie dough, cause we like to have um, water on every level. Um, but yeah, um, we have a spare one, but we can't find it at the moment. Um, but we'll go look for it after we finish this video. Um, and they can go up there for water, but we just like to have one down here for safety. Just saying, so that you know that. He's right outside. So, let's go. I'm so red. It's just because I'm hot. Okay, my mum, you gonna go and get daddy. Uh, no, that one's fine. I'm kind of scared because he could react like he really loves it, or he could react. Daddy, come. Where are you? You're in Nala's room. Hello. Why are you in Nala's toilet? Okay, come on. Okay, you ready? You ready to see our surprise for you? You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna put, it's not for you, I'm sorry, but it's like, okay, you might wanna put your phone down first, so, okay, three, no, three, two, one, I'm kinda scared how you're, cause you're either gonna love it, or you're gonna hate it, you might not like it, okay, it's not another pet by the way, so don't worry about that. The guinea pigs do it in fruit cage. <laughs> Come, look at it. It's a play area. It's a new cage. We can put, put them down again because these are so mixed up by hand. And we've got locked yeah. at night. And we can take that off if they want to go and play. At and daytime. Don't want to do them yet. No, because we've closed it. And do you want to see the reaction? We haven't put them down yet. So do you love it or do you hate it? Max. Do you love it or do you hate it? Hey man, it's your room. Do you love it or do you hate it? I wouldn't do this in my room. Should we see what they did? Yeah. Uh, so it's very nice it. for the guinea pigs. I'm and filming this. We've got a lot yeah. at night and we can take that off if they want to go and play. And they don't want to do that now. No, because we've okay. closed it. Come. And do you want to see the reaction? We haven't put them down. We're going to check their reaction. So do you love now it or do you order hate it? Mats to keep underneath. Do you love it?
Guys, I'm so happy. This is strangely emotional. Like, I knew I was gonna be happy that they were happy, but like, look how, oh my gosh. So happy, I'm so happy. Cause like, just, this has always been my dream. Now, um, I do want stuff for myself, but I want, like, if you had to choose, like, if you would, if I would either, if you asked me, would you either, would you rather um, get only stuff for yourself for your whole life or get stuff for your pets your whole life? I would choose pets every time. Um, and I'm just so happy because, like, mm, just so happy. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and smash or smack or slap <laughs> that um, bell so that you can get notified whenever I post a video. Now, I know, guys, I have not been good enough at posting guinea pig and hamster care videos. Um, and I know a lot of you want to see that. So, um, yeah, I will start doing those kinds of videos again soon just i've been a little distracted um with school and everything and coronavirus and everything at the moment so yeah just please have a good afternoon or morning or night or day or lunch or dinner or breakfast just have a good day good bye people of the world I know I did not film my sister's reaction. This is because today she, or tonight, she is at a sleepover. And to see her reaction, if you would like to, um, I'm either going to post it in my next video, in which case you have to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you see when it is posted, or I'm going to put it on my social media, on Instagram, um, at S E C R E dot T Life of Pets, all lowercase. So go follow me there if you want to see her reaction. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.